are deep in the San Fernando Valley, navigating the hot concrete corridors, Southern California. We're en route to a secret location I have that is a source for moderately priced games. Hopefully we'll come up with something good today. Cross your fingers. Yeah, over here is where they keep some big ticket items. They keep them locked up in this cage. It's kind of hard to see through, hard to see what's inside. You gotta search around what's here today, if there's anything worth it. I think there's a PS3 under there. Probably not worth making the guy unlock it. Right in this glass case, sometimes you get a 3DS game or something, uh, N64 game, uh, a bunch of old cell phones. That's real old. Hey, look what we have here. Here we go, now we're getting some hardware PS2 and uh, not in bad condition. 1995, way out of our price range, but it really is in good condition if shopping around for PS2. There's a couple of them right here. This place is nuts for peripherals. There's so many weird things. Look at this thing. I don't know what it is, a prototype for the NX controller possibly, I'm not sure. Whoops. Here we go, the Piazza de Resistance. Darth Vader controller. This thing has software built inside, I'm guessing, as seen on TV, and uh, $3 is out of our price range, unfortunately, but someone could probably take a risk on this and have a good time. Okay, coming over here, this shirt is really far out. Let's see, a lot of stuff to dig through here. Anything worth buying? That's the question. Uh, got Math Blaster, man. Software used to teach us, give us an education. Something over here, and Warhammer Online, $4.95, a little too pricey. Okay, here's a bargain driver. Before GTA 3, this was the premier way you could lead police on a high speed chase and not end up in jail in real life. Uh, bargain at 95 cents. No disc? No disc. Let's see, uh, gotta be something else around here. What do we got? Uh, backyard basketball feature pros as kids. Child versions of pros. Uh, you can play a whole season. This could get really addictive. Pet resort. I hate games with pets in them. Although I love resorts. A resort. I could really... Your resort is now open. Man, I could really get into the escapism of this right now. I could RP it. $1.95. Oh, look at that fish. This could be fun. Okay, random pick, random pick, random pick. Let's get something good here. Here we are, roll the dice. Mall Tycoon 2. I am so there for this. Build the ultimate mega mall. This could be so cool. It looks like it might suck. Okay, I've got a good feeling about this. So what we ended up going with here, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, a game I really never expected myself to be playing. Usually this kind of thing turns my stomach. Paws and Claws Pet Resort, okay? One reason we uh, got this was because it's marked as $1.95, $1.95, and that was within our budget of $2. Uh, however, you'll notice this tag is blue, and if you paid attention when we were entering the store, you'll have noticed the daily special included blue tag items, which means it's basically uh, a dollar. It's going to round down, 95 cents, whichever. Uh, so the escapism of going to a peaceful resort appealed to me, so we went all in. And the other one we purchased today was Mall Tycoon. Two, okay? Okay, a game like this really appeals to me. I mean, I like malls, I like uh, games where you get to build things, I like simulations. So if this is pulled off uh, decently, it could be a uh, real blast. So we decided to take a risk on this one. It wasn't marked with a price. When we got to the register, the cashier was giving us a little bit of trouble. She said, they can't sell items that aren't marked. I said, please just give it to me for whatever you can. She looked at it, she gave it to me for a dollar. So that came within our budget. Okay, Mall Tycoon 2. So they drop you off here in this sort of suburban uh, wasteland. And uh, here you are on a vacant lot. And it starts off sort of SimCity 2000 style, where it's just sort of drag and drop and paint, and you uh, add stores, and you uh, can customize them to a certain extent. You know, track all the stats of your shoppers. Here's where the key is. You hire staff, and you have to research new abilities, and that unlocks new things you can build, okay? And uh, here's the game changer. First person mode, okay? You can track shoppers or employees and go into first person mode, and you're sort of on an on-rails uh, first person view.
view of your mall and sort of reminds me of the old Windows screensaver. And so here's some of the different customizations you can do and uh, you can chart, you know, what kind of shopping goes on. You can do promotions on radio, television, and uh, here's how all the spending is. So, you know, it's your sort of medium light simulation type game. And once again, the game changer is you then get to walk around your mall. It's They don't have ceilings for some reason. I never got to build a second floor. You can kind of look around, uh, change your isometric view a little bit, rotate it around, but it's best to just keep it how it is. It's a tough racket. What did I learn from this game? I'm not gonna be so critical when I go into malls anymore because it's really easy to build an ugly mall. It's hard to build a aesthetically pretty mall. Visually, I think this is the most appealing uh, any of my malls got. And you know, uh, no one's going to the mall anymore. It was hard to make money. It was hard to get over the financial hump of turning your mall into a profitable thing. Godfrey's, my most uh, profitable mall, was only making about $88 a month but fairly entertaining for 95 cents, I'll tell you that much. Okay, so Pet Resort, I think I misinterpreted what this game was gonna be about when I saw the title. I thought I was gonna be in the role of a pet at a resort, enjoying various resort-like activities. In reality, I'm sort of this child owner of this uh, pet hotel out in the country here. People are just dropping off their pets for me to take care of, okay? Uh, we've got this little village up the road from my hotel. We've got this guy in here who, uh, is selling supplies. What you have to do is come over here and buy food, buy supplies, and then you have to take it uh, take it off the shelf at your house, and you have to bring it and feed the animals or play with the animals. You have to interact with the animals in various ways, okay? Here I am playing with a rabbit, and uh, here I am playing with a fish. The customers, they just keep rolling in and dropping off more pets. The game has all sorts of interesting graphical uh, oddities happening, which I really love. I always enjoy this. I think it gives it a lot of personality. I really like that part of the game. Uh, here's the game changer. You get to ride freely. You can ride your horse in a pasture, and although it's an enclosed area, you can jump over streams, jump over gates, and this is probably the closest uh, to what I was expecting this game to be. And this is pretty relaxing, you know? Is it worth a dollar? I'd say yeah. So while both games turned out to be pretty entertaining for the price I paid, ultimately I need to keep the cash flow going. So I went to my guy to see what kind of profit I could turn around. What can you tell me about this game? This is the second in the Mall Tycoon series, considered the best of the bunch. The cover art here is unique, as you can see. This guy's got a two-tone mohawk is strange because you don't see guys with mohawks and malls all that often. eBay values this at around four dollars. Okay. Street value and what I'm going to give you today is two dollars. Two dollars. Um, is there any way you could go closer to two fifty? Two dollars is the best I can do. I got to sell it. I got to make a profit. I got overhead. All right. Look, uh, it's, uh, I paid one dollar for it. We're making a hundred percent profit. Ultimately, these are the kind of deals I'm trying to close. I'm gonna take the money on this one. All right, and what about this one? Paws and Claws Pet Resort. It commands a very high price for being unremarkable and forgettable. eBay's got this PC version at $9, much higher than the DS version. Great. I'll take it off your hands for $4.50. Four fifty. What can I say? I'm almost uh, multiplying my money by five. Uh, I paid ninety-five cents for it. I'm gonna take the money and run. I gotta get one here. Oh, bad bounce again! And oh, the again. Oh, oh, the deadly oh, roll. Yeah. The last thing you wanna do is roll. My quarter is way out of bounds right now. Oh, okay, oh, way out too. We got a real chance here. And it did. Oh, 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 oh